Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. In this video of surprises, I'm going to show you how easy it is to change the trimmer line. And the first thing to start, actually you need to take the battery out. Put it over there. And let's get at it. So, so you look at the bottom of this thing, I'm out of line right now. So I'm going to need to replace it. So I bought these Black & Decker trimmer lines. Alright, so... I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. Take the old one out first, of course. Comes in a nice handy package. So on this one, you need to click on the red thing. There's two of them. Click over here and over here and pull it out. Of course, I should be holding this somewhere. Notice the one I took out has this little spring over there. So you're gonna put it back the same way you took it out. It just pops out. Notice the line feeds through the little white opening over here. So you want to pull it out. Note the direction, the orientation when you pull it out too. So let's go ahead and open the, the package here. Of course, there's some instructions how to do it. I don't see any pull tab. Maybe there is one. I've just not seen it. So if you're using scissor like, scissor like me, you got to be really careful about it so you don't Nick your hand or anything like that, of course. So the, this is a three pack. So you just need to buy one, you know, it comes with one pack that has three of them. One package that has three of them. I mean. Peel that out over here. It's the bottom, you can tell. Pull it out like that. Ooh. Okay, do you need to take this tape on the holding the line out? My assistant is holding the camera. Sorry, it moved a little bit for you. So you need to feed that line. You pull that line out. It's catching over here on the side. Feed that through the the end over there. It's coming apart already. not hard to, to set it up. Actually, it's easier, I notice, if you put this somewhere else. And feed in this line, you notice that it's unraveling right now. Right, take it out. Feed it through the hole first and wind and wind the wheel and put it back in. Mine's is already coming apart. It's not very tight. Notice that. That's the bottom. This is the top. Notice the indentation for the spring over there. And that's pretty much what you need to do to install it in the lines to get it straight. Put the, the spring right in the middle and the clips. And there you go. So that's simple as that. Yeah, I struggled with it a little bit. Um, the lines are very loose in this unit. All you need to do now is actually use it. Of course, you need to put the battery in first. Then you can turn it on. Cut grass. Etc. You can see the line moving back and forth. That's all to it. Thumbs up. See you next time. Bye.